Hey Vital MTB, you're watching 17 Questions with Laurie Greenland. Uh, yeah, let's begin. Yeah, do some cheesy shit. Have you been keeping an eye on global price of silver ever since Val de Sol? Uh, yeah, man. So, you know, I think it's the, the memories that matter and the, the silverware. Yeah, we, we can get rid of that for sure. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wait. wait for a bit until that goes up for sure. Yeah. Everyone knew you ripped, but now that you're no longer under the radar, is 2017 going to be heavier for you? Well, hopefully I'll be a bit heavier anyway. I've started training already, so uh, hopefully get a couple of extra kgs on. I think it'd be a good year for me. I mean, this year there's a lot of stuff to work out. It's pretty nerve-wracking as well, trying to break through the ice and get on the radar, yeah. I think until, until you've got a podium under your belt and a few top tens, you're definitely going to be not, not necessarily under the radar, but not fully on the radar, yeah. So there's a lot less pressure and I'm... Uh, I feel like I'm where I'm meant to be now, so it's, yeah, it feels cool. Ready for it. Skate, moto, and downhill. Put them in order of your top three favorite things. Downhill, skate, moto. I can't ride a moto, man, I'm terrible. Yeah, for the time being, I'm just a passenger on a moto, and I'm all right in a skateboard and a bike, so yeah, it'll stay like that for now. When you were a Grom, well, you still are. Whose style did you want to emulate on the bike? Sam Hill, for sure. What's the McQueen thing about? That's just my mum's second name. A lot of people think it's uh, just made up or put on Facebook or something for Lightning McQueen or whatever, but no, nah, uh, that is actually, that's on my passport, and uh, it's a rad race name, so I thought I'd chuck it on the jersey this year. Yeah, we are, we'll do Hey, that. boy. Tell us some team rumour gossip for next year. Well... My dad's actually joining a team and he might do a... Uh, he's going to try and get to one or two World Cups, so we'll see about that. At Val de Sol, when did you know it was on and that you had a shot? Uh, probably when I crossed the line without having a big crash, I think. So, uh, I knew it was a good run and it's definitely on the limit. I had one moment, big moment, I think. A lot of people said they thought I was rolling the dice the whole way down, but yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't rolling the dice the whole way down at all. I just had a, I think just doing a world run. Just uh, just physically tired and just hanging on, I think. Makes, makes, it, makes it look like you're rolling the dice, but that was real surreal, sat on the hot seat and just watching people come down and just staying there. I was on, I was on there for ages, so pretty surreal to uh, still be there when Danny was coming down. Yeah, still with me now, I'm buzzing. <laughs> How does someone so young have so much confidence in your ability? I don't really like rolling the dice that much, although my Valder Soul run doesn't say much for that. But yeah, I'm not I'm not too keen on rolling the dice. I I wanna uh I'm only gonna be in this sport as long as I feel safe in it. If I stop feeling safe then I'll I'll stop. I'm, yeah, I just ride within my abilities most of the time and uh if you're having fun and riding in with well, riding within your abilities, I don't think you can uh I don't think you can't have confidence. When did I first ride a mountain bike? First round rode a proper mountain bike with uh, front suspension when I was about eight years old. Forrester Dean, not too far from here. What was your first mountain bike? Kona Makina with uh, probably about two inches of suspension on the front and 20 inch wheels. That's rad. Me and my, one of my best mates had one of them and we went to Morzine and stuff on it. And uh, yeah, that was wild, man. Wild. How does the World Cup track lineup for 2017 make you feel? If I, if I could choose, I'd steer away from some of the bike parks. I mean, Leo Gang, I don't think should be on the World Cup personally. I think there was a few towards the end of the year this year that really, I mean, the best riders in the world were able to showcase what they can do and how what what can potentially be done on a on a downhill bike. I think, uh, yeah, people people have got a lot more to give than going down a bike park in, in Leo Gang, that's for sure. This year, Mons and Anne had some pretty wild changes up. There hasn't been many World Cups that have been like Montsenan this year with the speed and uh, speeding conditions there were crazy. As long as things are changing, as long as sections get replaced and stuff, I don't mind going to the same places, that's for sure. It's just uh, spend so many years and time getting good on a bike, you don't want to be at a bike park. Most underrated downhill rider out there? 
Flope for sure, man. He got third at Worlds and uh, he's got a lot to give. Well, he's getting Worlds podiums without, without being on a proper, well, factory World Cup team. So, yeah, a guy like him, humble guy that's just proper rad, definitely needs to get hooked up. Thrasher or Barrett? Thrasher. Who do you hate being beaten by at a race? Anyone my age or younger. That's always the goal, to be the fastest person your age, I think. If you were to give a promising MTB Grom some advice, what would it be? Booking up a season full of races is almost missing the point when you're younger a bit. You want to just get out and have fun and don't worry about your setup too much. Just like run what you've got and just have a good time with good people, I think. You can, uh, that's what I'm doing now, really. All went along, you just run what you've got and just have a good time with good people and uh, keep the fire burning, keep it fun. If you could do one race over again, what would it be? The one that comes to mind to me whenever I think of race mistakes is uh, British Champs when I was in Juvenile. Yeah, I think I crashed three or four times quali and race and I was uh, didn't crash once the whole weekend. And that was devastating. I couldn't get my head around that for weeks when I was younger. Felt like back then nothing else really mattered apart from uh, apart from riding and that and it like things like that devastate you so much. But yeah, got I got over that eventually but that one always comes to mind just because how annoyed I was. I mean, nowadays, if I did badly at a race, I'd be over it the next day. I think take a f funny five minutes out after the finish and then, yeah, you're right. It's not It's not all about the results sometimes. You, uh, you soon get over it. But yeah, back then I didn't really know that and I was, uh, I was up for winning a race and didn't get it. And uh, yeah, that one stayed with me for a while. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be doing that race right now than answering these dumb questions? Well, it wouldn't be fair if I went back to a 12-year-old race now, would it? <laughs> but yeah, I'll do that. Clean up. <laughs> be mint. <laughs>